Hey guys, it's Nikki here at Carrie Grace, and today I just wanted to share with you a few tips for meal planning. Um, I have received a few questions, and so um, I'm not going to do like a long in-depth meal planning video because I am personally in the process of changing from meal planning and shopping every week to stretching it out over two weeks, so I'm kind of in the middle of um changing things up but i do have a few tips that i want to share with you that will work however often you meal plan and grocery shop my first tip is to keep a running list of meals that you and your family like um i just keep a list in the back of my planner um you can you see it just says go to meals and i write down like everything because sometimes like when you're sit, you sit down and you think, oh, I need to come up with seven meals or 14 meals or 30 meals or whatever it is, you can be very overwhelmed. And you forget that you can make really easy, easy things like sloppy joes or egg sandwiches or chicken salad or just whatever it is that's like a really easy thing that you like to make and that your family enjoys. And you'll be surprised at how many things um, you have probably made over the course of the years. Um, so anyway, that's my first tip is to keep a list of go-to meals. My second tip is to um, kind of have a game plan as far as um, what you're going to have when. Um, I'm not saying you have to do themes like Monday is Meatless Monday or Tuesday is Taco Tuesday. And then, you know, assign an A theme to each week. But if that works for your family, great. Um, I would highly recommend it if that's something that works for your family. Our family, um, I don't really have like themes like that, but I do have kind of categories that work well based on our schedule. Um, Friday night is always pizza night. It's the night that we have family night with the boys. We watch a movie. Sometimes we um, get to go out on a date night and that's fine. But um, if it's just like a regular Friday where we're all going to be home, we pretty much are going to have pizza. Um, Saturday night um usually saturdays are very relaxed or very busy there's kind of not usually like in between saturdays at our house and so i don't really like to plan something that is going to take much time a lot of times it is something i can pull out the freezer whether like frozen chicken patties to make a chicken sandwich or um some kind of like something we can throw on the grill real quick just something that's easy that um a lot of times the things that we pick they are very similar to things that we would just pick up if we were just going to pick up takeout there those are the kind of things that we tend to make for dinner on saturday night sunday um sunday is our day of rest in this house we get up and we go to church sunday morning and then we all come home and we pretty much just crash for the rest of the day there are there's like one sunday a month that um, I do have something in the evening, and then sometimes, you know, we have other things going on. But for the most part, Sunday is like a very laid back day at our house. And you know what? I need a break too. I don't want to cook on Sunday. So um, if we don't go out to eat, which we do from time to time, but if we're not going to go out to eat, we pretty much have sandwiches or soup simply because it's easy. Um, during the warmer months, we gravitate towards sandwiches. In the winter and fall months, we gravitate towards either soup and sandwich or just soup or something like that. And then, um, I forgot Thursday, but Thursday is always leftover night at our house. And that is because um, Thursdays are really busy like every other week at our house. And also because since I do grocery shop on Friday, it makes the most sense for us to finish up all the leftovers on Thursday before I go to the grocery store on Friday to purchase all the new food. So those are just a few tips that I just kind of wanted to share with you. Um, go ahead and start your running list if you don't have it. If not, um, if you don't have a running list, um, you can keep a list like on Pinterest. You can create boards on Pinterest and save things. I have several food boards on Pinterest that I reference. Um, especially if I'm wanting to make something new and there are a few things on there that um, I don't actually have the recipe saved anywhere. I just pull it up on Pinterest. But um, I do like keeping it there because sometimes 
Um, like in a perfect world, I would have time to sit down Thursday and like, you know, have a good bit of time to make a plan and then a grocery list. But sometimes I find myself, hey, it's Friday. I haven't had a chance to do, to do this, but I have to go to the store now because if I don't go now, um, I'm not going to have a chance to go. So um, I do like having things on Pinterest so that I can pull that up in the grocery store if I need to. So it's not ideal, but sometimes it is helpful. So anyway, those are just my few tips. Um, come up with a plan, figure out if there are um, things that work better for your family as far as during the week, like what nights work better for certain meals, and then to keep a running list. I hope you have found this helpful, and that's it for today. Thanks. Thank you.